Hey everybody, this is Christina and I wanted to do a video today um, showing a new project that I've been working on the last two days and it's something I've been thinking about doing for a while and I finally just jumped into it yesterday and I wanted to show you a little haul um, that I got to go with this project and uh, just a couple supplies that I had in my stash to get me started so let me just go ahead and start the thing that I have been wanting to do for a while is start a journal and this is a Bible journal um, I've been trying to get back into my faith and um, learning the verses and the de devotionals in the Bible and so I found this community that does Bible journaling and instantly I was hooked I watched many YouTube videos and before I even went out and ventured to find a, bi a journaling Bible and so yesterday I went out and to found the Christian family store and found this one by um, what is it? Who is it by? By Crossway, and they also had a black one, which I really liked as well. Um, but it was a hard cover, and I wanted something floppy, um, kind of like my uh, Traveler's Notebook. So I found this one by Cross Crossway, and um, this is also a journaling Bible. So this is um, the version um, ES, ESV, the English Standard Version. So this is the one that I um, went with. I thought it was very pretty with the engraved um, leaves on the cover. Um, I thought it was different and um, it's really really cute and I love it so um, I have done I did a couple things in here last night to get me started just to practice um, I did practice in the back of the book to see if my distress stains my Tim Holtz distress stains worked and they look gorgeous on this paper and it does have a little shadowing um, I tried it with the dark one of my darkest colors but that does not bother me as long as it doesn't bleed through it's gonna be amazing and then this here I just practiced some of my watercolor pencils and that turned out great too um, as well um, also with the pens that I'm using I'll show you that in a minute so I haven't tried my distress stains on an actual page yet but I will be um, probably playing around with them tonight um, my when I first opened my book I have this posted on my the Facebook group that I just recently joined and um, this is a similar image to the illustrated faith image that you can um, buy printables for and I couldn't afford to buy all her gorgeous printables so I opted to draw a similar one myself so I just drew this one out with my black um, pens that I'll be showing you and then I just used my watercolor pencils and some of my um, Sharpie pens to um, color it in. I just have some of my favorite washi tape that I got at Hobby Lobby. And then a lot of people have been on Facebook asking me about this shabby chic um, floral design that I have on here. And some people asked me if it was a handkerchief that I saved and put in my um, Bible. And, um, and actually, it is um, this really cute shabby chic wrapping tissue paper. And I got this uh, probably towards like around February um, at Target. They had a really cute shabby chic. Um, little um, party collection in their party supplies and I like to use tissue paper in a lot of my scrapbooking so I saw this and I was like oh my gosh I have to get that I know I'll use that so um, I haven't used it that much lately um, but I found that it was really cute for this page in my Bible 
And um, each entry, I am using my Heidi Swap date stamp. I just love her writing, so I have that. Um, I will be probably getting soon um, some other date stamps that have like really cute fa phrases on it. Um, also at the Family Christian store, they actually um, are having a sale right now. And I got these like mm, maybe 30% off. So that was a good deal. And then this was actually half off. It was on clearance. And it's a little metal tag. And I just love this. It says, there is a blessing in the storm. And I got that there and it was on sale. And I think I got it for like two bucks. And it's I just tied it with some, uh, oh my gosh, I can't even think of what this is. It's string, um, baker's twine string. And I just wrapped it around the whole book and then just tied it into a little bow up here. So that's that. Um, this is also um, a metal tab that I had in my um, scrapbooking stash. It's uh, by Crate Paper and it's the collection called Poolside. And the sun is supposed to mean like it's sunny day because um, there's other ones that say fun and um, some other ones that have numbers and stuff. But I used it as sun as in Sunday. Um, because well, growing up, we always went to church on Sunday. So that just went with um, the whole Bible and the faith um, theme. And so I just thought it was very appropriate and I, I love it. It's really cute. So, and then I also just added um, a piece of the same tissue paper here. Because I just love how you can, you can see the word Holy Bible right through it anyway and it wasn't covering it up so I just thought that was really cute um, just to I want to have something on every page when this book is done and my first entry it's not the best but at least it was um, a good first page um, I did um, Genesis page one and I just did the quote in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth and I highlighted and I used I drew these out with pencil first and then used my black pens and then I used um, my watercolor pencils I had have, have had these for a long time and never used them and now I have a reason to use them so I love those and that's pretty much all I've done so far um, I keep talking about the pens. Um, I was I'm enjoying with these pens, the Micron pens. I have zero three zero one zero five and zero eight, and then these are the Sharpie pens that I've been using. I have them in a few different colors, and then with my watercolor pencils, I've been using my Tim Holtz water brush. This thing is awesome. I love it. So, um, one other brush that I have in my little pack here, I used on a certain few pieces. I used it on the word God, and I used them on these little, like, twinkling stars, which look like crosses. I used my Wink Estella brush pen, and this is the clear, um, the clear one, and I don't know if you can see it in the light, but it, it makes it shiny I don't even know there you go you can see that it makes it shiny and you can get these Wink Estella pens at Michaels or Hobby Lobby and you can get them in gold silver this is the clear um, you can get them in I think blue and red um, but I just love how it just adds a little extra to the page so that is that I just want to show you a quick haul of what I found at Hobby Lobby today and then that's it for the video so, so today I was looking for faith uh, related items that I could use in my Bible um, the first thing this is 
I wanted to get some vellum to add to my pages um, as little tippins. So I found this one. It is um, just some black roses. That was really pretty. Most of these are floral. I got the white roses. I got the pink roses. Or maybe these are not roses. But these look more like um, peonies. Um, this one's music. And this one's hearts. So these are all vellum. So they're kind of see-through. Which are kind of will be really pretty in the book. Um, and a lot of the the Hobby Lobby's Paper Studio brands were on sale. And I found these stickers. These are really pretty. Let's see, grateful, courageous, blessed, shine bright. And these would be really pretty to put across the whole page if you're doing like a two page spread or even just a one, one page but still it's really, really pretty and shiny. Um, all of the rubber stamps were on sale, um, including the stamp sets. And I found the Bow Bunny Amen stamps. I really wanted these, and I was so happy to find that they were like 40% off on all stamps. So I'm so excited to start using this one. Um, I got these, which these were not on sale, but I used my 40% coupon. They are the extra large, um, blank tags with the gold, um, little reinforcers on there. And I was thinking just doing some of my, um, journaling on this and then adding it to my page. Really cute. And I got the white ones. They had them in craft and like a manila envelope type color and then the white and I got the white so that I could use my like watercolors or my distress stains or even um, acrylic paints on them let's see I found these these are um, by Sadie Robertson and they're little cards Um, they're also by Dayspring, and they're scripture cards, and I know they say here they're like cards that you can like give out to people, you can share with people, but I was thinking of maybe using them in my um, journaling pages, so I thought those were really cute, so I got some of those. I got two packs of these. These were only $1.99, and they're little like journaling cards that you can add to your journaling pages. They're tiny notes and they have um, little like sayings on them. And I got this in the religious section, so they're really cute. And these ones are really cute too. This is the other pack. Like I said, they're only $1.99. Really cute, and you get 12 in each pack. And, oh. And I just got, the last thing I got was um, two more uh, watercolor pencils. I bought them individually. Um, I didn't have a skin color one, and I wanted, really wanted that. Um, and then I got another red one. Uh, these were only $1.99 too. And they wrapped them up so I wouldn't get my stuff dirty. But I can't seem to see, get the price. These are the Faber-Castell ones. So... These were only $1.99, and that's just watercolor pencils, and that's it. So if you have any questions, um, or if you have any suggestions um, as to any other supplies that would be awesome for uh, Bible journaling, let me know. I would be so happy to hear new ideas, and yeah, if you have any, if you, um, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Anyways. This is um, my video, my first video for Bible journaling, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!